What's happening, everybody? All right, so another video, some more Excel. Um, this time with a little bit of a difference. I'm going to be looking at one single graphics card and its hashing power uh, by using nice hash miner over here. So it's going to be an interesting experiment because I'm going to be looking at what will happen to the uh, to the speed and the gl global Bitcoin rate when we um, s slowly or carefully adjust these overclocking overclocking speeds over here. So I'm not an expert at overclocking cards or at hash rates or mining or whatever. I just thought it'd be an interesting an interesting experiment. So I've got my Excel doc over here. I'm going to be looking at speed and global rate for each. Uh, algorithm down the side and I'll be going into nice hash minor you go to settings you go to dev devices algorithms pick your graphics card and then we'll select each and every single algorithm as we go along all right let's get started so if we click so you can see it's currently on Lyra to Ray REV2 and let's start let's see what the speed goes up to and then we we'll record that. See, it's currently at zero and zero with a clock speed. This is the uh, MSI GTX um, OC, if I remember correctly, GeForce GTX 1070. Uh, so it is slightly overclocked, but we will be doing more of that now. I don't want to go too far with overclocking. I'm a little bit of a scary cat when it comes to that, but let's see, let's see how we get up, what we get up to. I'm going to speed up and cut the video because it takes quite a while for the speed to settle to an average. So, yeah, cool. Alright guys, so we've waited a few minutes and it seems like we've settled on a speed of 32 point, average of 32.2 and a global rate of 0 0.22 for 22 Mbits per day. Alright, let's see what happens when we crank it up a little bit. Let's go to 50, uh, it's around about 50. It's very difficult to get it exactly right. Maybe you can adjust it, yeah, let's say 50. There we go, and this could be 50. 50? Okay. What the hell? Sorry, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm going to see. Okay, 50. And let's put this down to 50. Yeah, near as makes no difference. Alright, let's wait for that to see what happens. Alrighty guys, so a couple of minutes have passed and it looks like we have settled on a healthy little jump here of 34.72. Uh, that's uh, mega hash per second and 0 0.23 mbits per, per day. Alrighty, let's crank her up. 100. Touchy. Uh, fine, whatever. All right. So we are now uh, hundred and a hundred, and let's see what happens. And we're back. All right, so we left off at 34.72. It has now settled on 
0.37 with a global rate of 0 0.23. Similar global rates. This might have been slightly higher. Okay, cool. Moving on to our final stage of 130 and 200. So you could probably take your cards much further than this. Um, you can do those experiments and let me know what your findings are. It's pretty exciting to see. And um, yeah, let's uh, let's see what this uh, what this holds. Okay, guys, we're back, and after that overclock we have settled on approximately 36.15 and a MBIT daily value of 0 0.24 that gives us a 12% increase from our uh, normal normal clock speed uh, for our speed rate and a global rate of an increase of 9% which is pretty impressive I mean if we're looking at four cards four GTX 1070s or uh, 1060s I haven't tested but I mean if we apply the same logic we we could potentially be seeing a, a nice increase here and um, yeah that is also of course taking into account if Bitcoin's uh, value stays stable which it doesn't it jumps up jumps all over the place uh, but yeah I'll be doing the rest of the algorithms in a in a follow-up video and yeah hopefully it was of, of use you guys can share your uh, experience with hash rates and um, clock speeds and let me know what you what you find but thanks for watching guys uh, cheers